Today I'm making four more slimes for four more celebrities. I'm gonna DM them a photo of their slime to see if they'll respond. In the last video, I didn't get a response, so Anna got to slime me. To make sure I get a response, I'm gonna go even harder this time. These are gonna be the best slimes made in Peachy Baby's history. Let's get into it. First celebrity is gonna be Kim Kardashian. I had the clay team make this crying Kim emoji. I think Kim's gonna love it. She's a self-aware queen. Let's go over to the slime station and pick out our slime. Here we have four different textures to choose from today. Our first one is this micro foam texture. Listen to this ASMR here. Hear the grunge. That sounded very nice. Microfoam, it's like very fancy looking, feels really cool, great texture. This is cloud dough, this is a classic. So this one is just kind of just made with like white glue and this really cool snow. So it's got a lot of texture to it. It feels super nice. Look at that drizzling. That's why we call it cloud dough. Basically it looks like snow. Icy is technically the same thing, but there's just a little bit more water. So it kind of looks like a snow cone. I love this one. This was originally one of my favorite textures. And then this is a snow butter. Oh, I don't know why this one's so big. There we go. This one just basically has some clay. This is really nice. It's really nice and smooth. Each of these slimes, I have to pick out a texture. So Kim reminds me of celebrity and like bougie. For some reason, the snow butter is giving me bougie vibes. And then color wise, we could just play off the whole vibes of like the Kim crying emoji. Dan, what do you think? Uh, pretty girl pink. So we're gonna go with these two pinks and we're gonna go back over to the table and start mixing. The first thing that we have to do is dye the slime. So I'm gonna take our snow butter slime out and we're gonna mix rose pink and deep pink together and get the slime dyed. So if you didn't know, Kim actually bought some of our slimes a while ago. This just like feels so amazing. It's the best slime I think I've ever experienced. So I think she is a fan of Peachy Babies, which is awesome. That's why we gotta make this one amazing. Hopefully maybe we'll actually get a response from her. Who knows? But this pink is turning out amazing. It's giving celebrity which I'm okay with. So now let's put this back in the container. Now, because I want the slimes to be even better, we actually have a new station that we're gonna debut today in this video. Welcome to the debut of the Charm Cart. We had a traveling charm merchant that sent it all the way over from Charmville and brought this over here. And I decided just to buy the whole thing. So we own all of this stuff. But if you guys have a better name for the Charm Cart, comment it down below and we'll change it. These are the charms that we have to work with today. So I definitely wanna add a little bit of glitter to this. Already catching my eye. It's got like a really nice, like purple and pink kind of tint to it. So we're gonna definitely add some of this to it. So let's go back over to the table. Now we gotta add the final touches to the slime. First, we're gonna add our glitter, which it looks just so Kim Kardashian. I think it's just hitting me that there's a chance that she may see this video. See the DM and respond to it. Oh yeah, that's looking sweet. Listen, the clay team absolutely slayed this. Like look how amazing the detail is. That, that looks great. I'm gonna have to say that our Kim Kardashian slime is done. I think this one's a 10 out of 10. I really hope that she responds to it. Let's move on to the next celebrity. For our next celebrity, I'm gonna have you guys guess. So this is Sour. We have an S, a tongue, you are. So I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to guess who you think this celebrity is. You know, it should be really easy. Mm. Okay, did you guess Olivia Rodrigo? Cause that's what we're gonna be doing today. Yeah, I had the clay team make this amazing sour inspired by her album that blew up two years ago. And now I drive along past your street. So let's go pick out a slime and pick out some colors for it. For Olivia Rodrigo's slime, I think we're gonna go with the microfoam texture because the microfoam looks kind of like taste buds and there's a tongue in that sour logo. So that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna pick out the color for her slime. We're gonna go with a purple and a little bit of a blue to recreate that exact color that was used on her album. The reason why I chose purple and blue, it's kind of like this like weird purpley color. It's not a full purple, but it's got a little bit of blue. So hopefully I can get it pretty darn close. I'm curious if Olivia's ever played with slime. I feel like she may have played with slime before in her life. Then again, before I started working here, I knew what slime was, but I never touched slime before in my life until I started working here. So, you know, we may never know. Unless, you know, she wants to slime and we send her the photo and she responds. All right, this is getting like pretty close to the color that I'm looking for. I think the biggest thing is that we're gonna need some charms to really tie this slime together. All right, so now I guess we can just put it back in here and let's go over to the charm card. We have so many options to choose from. I think we have the perfect thing, this perfect container full of just like a bunch of random charms and sprinkles. So let's go add them. Let's examine these charms. So we have so 
many to choose from. Cause that album cover, there's just kind of like a bunch of random stuff on it. We got this like bead, tiny mushroom, very cute. Oh, we have this star. We have a little like smiling charm. So we'll add that. A bow. Dan says that it's a seashell. Comment below what you think this is. Cause I have no idea. We're going to add it in cause it kind of just fits the vibe. And then now we got to add somehow our sour thing. I just realized we ran into our first problem. The clay team is doing an amazing job, but these are like way too big. Like literally the size of the tongue is like almost this entire slime. Like if we had like a three times bigger slime, this would be perfect. I think this is as best as I could do. And it barely says like sour. That was kind of an oversight in my part. I think if we just have this, it still would, could be like, this is an Olivia Rodrigo slime. That was my fault. I'm so sorry to clay team. I will buy you guys coffee. Now let's move on to our third celebrity. Our next one is Ed Sheeran. Let's go. Woo. All right, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I only know like Shape of You. I don't even know what album that is. Sir Ed Sheeran is kind of just like, you know, not my vibe with all due respect. However, we have his logos kind of for his album. When our clay team, Jack, she was uh, doing research, she found out that he really likes butterflies. So we have all these symbols to choose from. I don't know what to choose. So we're gonna use our mini spinny wheel thingy to determine what we're gonna color this slime and theme it after. We're just gonna give it a spin and if it lands, you know, like on green, that means obviously the Multiply album. Let's give it a good spin, guys. Whoa, that's satisfying. Dude, Red, the wheel has spoken. We are going with the equals. Let's go over to the slime station. I'm thinking we're gonna go with an icy slime because, you know, Ed Sheeran's from the UK. You know, it's kind of cold and damp there. So icy slime is just gonna be the perfect texture. I'm assuming Ed Sheeran and I kind of have the same slime taste. And obviously we're gonna go with red. So I guess super red is gonna be the perfect color for the slime. Ed Sheeran. Only thing else that I know about him is that he was in the Beatles movie. And then Dan was telling me that he was in Game of Thrones, which I've never seen. You know, he must be a good singer if Equals is his fifth studio album. I mean, that's pretty insane. Let's put it back into the container and let's go over to the charm card. I think this is like a pink, purple, reflective glitter mix. Kind of just think adding just a little bit of glitter on top of it is gonna just like stand out. Let's add some of this beautiful glitter. Look at that stuff, get it on there. That looks awesome. That actually looks so much better than adding like, you know, some charms on there. And then now I guess the final thing is adding our Equals for his fifth studio album. That is our Ed Sheeran slime. It's a little boring and red's not my favorite color. I'm gonna give it a firm seven out of 10. Let's move on to our fourth and final celebrity. For our fourth and final celebrity, we're gonna be doing a YouTuber, ZHC. This is Zach's character, Turkey, and this is Miss Munchie's character, Bun Bun. We're gonna be doing two slimes for these because Kim Kardashian, Ed Sheeran, they're most likely not gonna be responding to us. But a YouTuber like Zach, he has a good chance of responding to us. So I really wanna show off and like make an amazing slime. So we're gonna put just a little bit more extra effort. So let's go over to the slime station. We're starting off with this main layer of microfilm. So I'm actually gonna color swirl these to make them dual colored. And then we're gonna add a flat layer of cloud dough on top of that. And then we're also gonna add some cloud dough scoops on top of it. And I think Zach's gonna be really impressed. We have our two slimes here. So I'm gonna color this one blue and then this one pink, and then we're gonna mix them and twirl them together. So let's add our rose pink. It's looking pretty darn close to Bun Bun. So there we go, we got our pink color and now let's add our sky blue, my favorite blue dye that we have in the shop. Look at that, that looks absolutely perfect. So now what we're gonna be doing is mixing these together. So I'm gonna kind of roll it out. Let's just kind of mush this together and then I'm gonna kind of just give it a little good old candy twist. Whoa, this is literally looking like candy. That looks freaking awesome. All right, so now we gotta cut it. Now let's put this in the container and flatten it. Do the same thing over here. Doesn't need to be perfect. Now let's color this cloud dough. It's basically just gonna look like a giant cotton candy slime, which I'm okay with, because who doesn't love cotton candy? Plus we're mixing textures, we're getting all fancy. Now we'll roll this thing out and let's flatten it out on a layer. We really wanna go for a flat layer. So I'm actually gonna cut this. Do you know you could cut slime? So satisfying. Now we have a perfectly flat slime. And now we gotta do the same thing, but for our pink. There's a lot of, a lot of coloring for this one. We're putting a lot of effort in. I guess technically it's two, but in the pair, Bun Bun and Turkey, a one of one custom slime. We're gonna make our scoops. So let me get an ice cream scoop.
since the next day, we waited around to see if they would respond. I have yet to check Instagram, so let's pull up Instagram and see if anybody responded to our slimes. I think Zach actually gave us a response. I see a verified check mark. I don't know what it is. Oh my God, he actually responded. That's crazy. He said, so cute. I love it. Dude, I can't believe we actually got a response. That's like the first time. It took us seven other people, but finally the eighth one. We got somebody to respond. Zach, if you want these slimes, you just gotta reach out and we will give you these slimes, okay? That is awesome. I can't believe Zach responded. That's seriously so insane.